what's going on guys, Brian here. Today I'll be making another tutorial, but this time it will be on how to use custom fonts in your game. So yeah, let's get started. Um, I already created a project already, so you should do that right now. Um, first thing first, I'm going to create a title label, or regular label of type SK label node. Alright, and then I'm going to set the anchor point of this scene to be 0 0.5, 0 0.5. You don't have to do this, but I'm doing it because I like the layout of this. Now I'm going to set up this label. I'm going to set the font name to be prototype. Now prototype is the name of my custom font. You put the name of whatever your custom font is. All right. So let's set the font size or the font color to be let's say let's say green color or whatever color you want. I'm going to set the font size to be 60. I'm going to set uh, the positioning of this label to be. 0, 0, which puts the label right in the middle. And I'm going to set the text of this label to be, let's say, custom fonts. And then let's add this label to the scene. Let's run that. Now, if all everything works out, you should see my custom font. That is not the custom font because we did not add the custom font to the project. So now let's do that right now. I'm going to start the project. My custom font is on my desktop, so you should see, do the same and grab it. Drag it over to your project, project area over there. Now, this is important. Where it says add to targets, make sure you click your project name right here. This is the name of the project. Make sure you click that. If you don't, when you upload the app, your font will not be included in your app. So make sure you click this. All right, let's hit finish. Great. Now, you would think that if you add the font to the project, that you can use a font now. Uh, no, there's one more step to do. Go to info .p list. Let's add a new row. This is going to be called fonts provided, and it's right there. The first thing that pops up. Click that. Click the drop down. It says item zero. In this box right here, you're going to put the whole name of the font. In my case, it's called prototype.ttf. Make sure you include the extension of your font. Let's go back, and now when you run the app again once more everything should work out. And here we go. That's what my custom font looks like and that's how you use custom fonts in your game. So I hope you guys like the video. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.